So this is our assembly language program to display a string ending with a dollar sign. So uh, first statement is dot model small dot stack hundred edge dot data msg db hello g c s k p m dollar dot code dot startup then move h comma zero nine h move dx comma offset of msg in the twenty one h dot exit end these are the statements in our program now we can consider each of this program in each each of these statements in detail we already know that uh, a086 uh, has a number of segment registers code segment register data segment register stack segment register etc then these segment registers are used to store the starting address of memory segment we can have 64 kb segments in 8086 so the first statement is dot model small this dot model is an assembler directive that selects a memory model in this case this will select a small memory model that is select small memory model small memory model means 164 kb for data segment and another 64 kb for code segment and we can have different memory models tiny small medium compact large in the case of tiny there will be only 164 kb that will be used for both code and data and uh, medium compact large they have some uh, different uh, different memory allocation so uh, that's about the dot model directive the next statement is dot stack this will uh, this will reserve a stack area of 100h size then dot data this dot data directive will specify the start of data segment and dot code directive will specify the start of our code segment then uh, one more directive is dot uh, this end directive this end directive specifies end of file the assembler will only consider the instructions up to this instructions after this end statement will not be considered for assembly process okay then uh, first we can consider this uh, what is there inside the data segment so uh, the statements after the dot data directive will form the data segment so in in our case we need one uh, one message one string constant or one uh, okay to define that uh, string constant we'll use msg db hello gcskpm so this will actually create a string that containing a set of characters h e l l o space g e c s k p m dollar that is ending with a dollar this db means define byte msg is the variable name so this will create a uh, string variable with the name msg and content hello gac skpm and dollar at the end create a string constant then dot code start of code segment then dot another directive is dot startup that indicates the start of program execution from here onwards the execution of the program will start in the case of C program, we will say that main is the starting point of execution, just like that. Another uh, function done by the dot startup is load CS with the start address of code segment and DS with the start address of start address of data segment, where CS and DS are the code segment register and a data segment register. That initialization will also be done by startup.
and uh, okay uh, our aim is to display a message so uh, for uh, what another another thing we have to discuss is int 21 h this int is actually an instruction used for calling a software interrupt we will use int int then that interrupt number 21h. So the interrupt 21h is used for invoking DOS system call. Through this uh, system call, DOS system call, we can access the services provided by DOS operating system. In the case of high level languages like C or Java, uh, we have a number of uh, APIs for input output operations. But in the case of uh, this assembly language programming, we have to use DOS services for IO access. So in the case of the, in the 21H contains a number of services for dealing with the IO operation. And the service number will be always given through the AH register. So in our case, uh, the service number for displaying a string ending with 09, ending with dollar symbol is 09H. So AH is 09H. Then the input uh, requirements or arguments for this service is D, we have to specify offset address of the message in DX register and segment address of the message in DS register. But that already uh, set up during this startup. Segment register DS will contain the starting address. So there is no need to specify here again. Then in the 21H that will display a message that is ending with a dollar sign. So we will specify the to invoke a DOS system call. Uh, first we have to specify the service number then we will give the arguments for that particular service then invoke in the 21H. Here service number is 09H then uh, the input requirements are offset and segment address of our message to be displayed. So uh, offset address is to be uh, given through DX register and segment address through DS register. So the offset ad address is obtained by using the directive offset. Okay. Then the segment address is already set by the dot startup instruction. Then another directive is dot exit. This is used to exit from our program, from our assembly program to DOS environment back. Then end, we already explained uh, end of file. Assembler will only consider the instructions up to this. And uh, in the case of uh, this master assembly language program, comments are, comments are mentioned by using a semicolon. Okay. And we have to save our file with an extension dot .asm. 